Welcome to Master Saga Season 6. I've invited Farfa and Nim Nim back for another round robin version of Saga. Each week, all three of us will open packs before dueling each other to win prizes for the next episode. This time though, we're changing several rules to mix things up. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Master Saga Season 6. Previously on Master Saga. I'll make it quick. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll make oh it my quick. God, dude. Oh my make God! Two quick. versus three. That's I'll just stupid, dude. Dude, I don't know how you guys ever thought you had a chance with this. What are you talking well, about? Done, dude. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good okay. job. <laughs> Easy. All right. Good game. Oh God. Is this game? It is game. It is. G G, bro. Oh my 59. God. Dude, I literally have like a battle fader card in hand. The mono one is too strong. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Crazy uh, to kill this thing, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> doo -doo. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite, Master Saga. I am like 2 and 12 or something. Alright, last week we almost didn't get a single secret pack unlocked, by the way. Did he spin the wheel? I forgot to do the Farfa wheel. We'll do the Farfa wheel after. So, sorry, the loser's wheel. <laughs> oh, it's in my subconscious at this point. All right, anyway. Spell books. Ooh. Get some priestesses. A Paleo, a Nemesis flag. That's a good card. I can't remember if this account has Arch Nemesis or not at this point. It's been a long time, but let's get some more uh, unlocks here. Nothing too generic. Hollow is... Win is a good card. Charmer pack sucks, but you know, win's a good card. Terror King Archfiend. Ancient rules, ancient forest. Bug signal. Excuse me. Advance draw. Manadium card. We got a Valence. Rescue Hamster. Um, a pretty good modern Yu-Gi-Oh card, if I do say so myself. Yes, in terms of modern Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a good card for modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Red Resonator's a good boy. Uh, nothing too much here. Hey, hollow upgrade. Give me a good pack of... Ooh, it's an ultra. Uh, firecracker. Zoroa. And our ultra is... The first Dark Lord. I unlock this pack, like, at least once a season, it feels like. And I hate it. <laughs> what? Keeper. Predator Prime Fusion. Battery Man C. Thunder Force Attack. Novell. Koala, koala. Alich. Pendulums, an XE Encore, Danger Response Team, and Pile Armed Dragon. Armed Dragons might be worth exploring. I think they've got a couple of good cards. Card Trooper. What is this, 2010, baby? Uh, Blue Slug and Stingray. These are good cards, but nothing to really force them into just yet. Last and final pack. Can we end on a hollow? Yes, we can. And before hollow being classified as glossy, though. Ooh, Ultra. Plunder, Flunder, Hunder, Thunder. That's a good deck. Let's have a look here. We've got a Fire Fist pack as well to take a look at. And an Ultra. Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss. These are good cards. All right, let's go do the wheel first before I forget. All right, let's roll it up. Welcome back, everyone, to the Farfa Wheel. The Loser's Wheel. I need to stop saying... I need to stop saying... The the loser's wheel, not the far, the, the loser's wheel, okay? I just so happen to be in the position of loser this week. Click. Five extra packs. Alrighty then, that could help put something really mighty uh, strong together. I have a hard time believing that the position we're in right now, we're going to lose this week. And especially since we have an ultra rare craft, man, let's set ourselves up to seal the deal for this season of Master Saga. I know I'm calling it this early on, but have you guys seen the cards I have in my collection? Let's open 10 Master Packs, let's see what's up. Oh, -hoo -hoo! good looks. Love the little bit of uh, color around the cards there. All right, pack number one, what you got for me? A DD Swirl Slime. Tempting, tempting. Played that on Progression Series a few times, but uh, we'll see. The Necroz Mirror, by the way, I didn't point anything out, but we have a whole bunch of Gishkis, and we got zero of those, so that's kind of nice to actually see. Funny. Um, what else we got here? Laval Force Sprite and a Hysteric Sign. Wow, you guys want to play some Harpies? <laughs> Number three, Thunder Dragon. If only I can get two more of those, man, we can actually play a full playset. Whoa, Trumpeter! Man, I hope 
Farfa doesn't bring that super heavy deck back again, dude. Dude kind of uh, embarrassed himself. Whoa! What do we get? Double Iris Magician! Ooh, wait, that's a great card. Man, I still remember this card being banned for the longest time. What a time. Good for something big. Sekka's Light! And a Fateful Adventure. Do they have a secret pack for this yet? Oh, they do. Unfortunately, I think cards like Rite of a Remesir, Water Enchantress, those are ultra rares. A little bit. And a Wandering Griffin, also ultra rare, right? Maybe a little bit too much to ask for. All right. Looking for something big in this one. Oh, a DDR. That's a good card. Nordic Relic. That thing. And then B Trooper Cruel Saturnas. That doesn't even open up the B Trooper pack. What if I wanted to play that this week? All right. We got a UR, hopefully, from this one. At least I think that's what that means. Battery man, microcell, my man. What do we got? Gear Gia Gigant XG. XG, baby, say the names right. Spell it out so you can learn it. Well, all right, nothing big in that one. Treacherous Trap Hole. I mean, just a really good rare card to have, I guess. Two more packs of Master Packs, and then we'll move on to the Secrets. What you got for me, John Konami? Nothing in that one either. All right, last Master Pack. Oh, we got a little wiggle. Goki the Blade Ogre. Gokis has always been something on the table. We've kind of avoided them this season, though. Sword Soul of Taya. Wow. Last card is a Beat Cop from the Underworld. A generic link that I'll be happy to add to the collection. I don't know what I'm going to pick this week. I guess we'll think about it for a sec. What are y'all thinking? All right. 10 packs here. Uh, okay, nice hollow pull rate. So Gage's deck is tough it's tough and also i went back and looked at like the previous uh weeks of this format that we've played and our polls have just been awful every week and uh maybe i haven't been picking like the best packs but i have been picking ones that i thought would be good in sealed environments with good low rarity cards but the polls have just not been there so today we are picking the strongest pack even though whatever we pick will get banned in the next episode we got to get a win with something though Hey, Xyz Armor Torpedo. Maybe we can get that engine online. Pack number four. Yeah, it was like War Rocks, Tunes, Plants, and then Spiral. Holy shit! Now, we can't really go into this because, like, in the next ban list, Gage being able to hit super heavy samurai cards that affect both of us would not be good. Chivalry is not terrible, although this card's a lot better. Traptic's Trap Hole Nightmare is a great, fantastic pickup. An actual negation card. They said it couldn't be done. Cosmo Strawman. Another Steel Star regular. Holy shit, Harpies. And we already have a couple Harpy cards. I mean, at the moment, we literally don't have another option. So, I mean, we do, but not really. Not really. We got the Field Spell. We did get the Field Spell right there. We also have, like, two copies of Perfumer, I think. I don't know. Uh, okay, Parshath pack. That is the Agent pack. Now, this one does have a lot of counter traps in it. That could be good. Um, the low rarity cards, I think, are not ideal, but, like, maybe we could just get lucky. Look at that! Two magic keys. Holy shit! Ooh, the rocket pack is very appealing. Two magic key cards back to back, though. The magic key pack is crazy. That one's adventure magic key, and all the magic key cards are, like, really low rarity. Econ, crazy good pickup. Getting a lot of good uh, generic cards. Necrofusion, not terrible. Branded Banishment. Um, I don't love the Branded Pack. We'll take a look at them, though. There's two different ones that it unlocks. One's like the Dark Lord Pack, which is fine, I guess. Ojama Black Cyber Dragon. Oh, okay. TGs. I know people might not think they're good, but they do have good low rarity cards, and we also have a couple of them already. Let's take a look here. Let's, uh, let's figure this out. <laughs> I've decided to go with a different strategy. Rather than opening five and then five and then my 10, uh, I'm going to go 10 and 10 immediately with the Fur Hire Plunder Pack. The reason for that is if we get unlucky and don't get any Ultra Rares, then the bad luck protection of giving you a guaranteed Ultra doesn't kick in again. Uh, so we basically could potentially end up in a situation with no Ultras. A lot of Ultras! Could just get Blackbeard. All right, sick. There's no Earthship. New ship? Uh, I thought that said cock face turn. Sorry. Um, Philo, the ship, 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 shipping. Pride of the plunder. And a Merc. All right, Merc Bran, insane. I'm gay, but what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Infinite time machine, crystal beacon, nothing here. Whitebeard, huge. 
Another shape shipping. I mean, these are just good discards, right? I think they search cards. Uh, red and white, that's good. A chalice is a good generic card. Black eyes. Blue beard, good. Rookie's a good card. And Fandora? What is this? Or I have a field spell? I ain't even reading that. Uh, nothing good on the generic front. Maybe a veil. It's not terrible. Uh, golden hair. Insane. Lice. Insane. And a second black eyes. Unbelievably good pulls. Oh, ultra from the pack. That's what you like to see. And the playset of Redbeard has been complete. Now, the good thing here is that basically any ultra rare pull is good. Unreal. Broken. I'm going to give you guys a little uh, spoilery thing here. I think maybe the play this week is don't play Plunder to protect it for the ban list. Uh, nothing good here. Party. Recon. There's the emblem. Really important cards. Super, super important cards. If we get some field spells and a... Uh... Yeah, three field spells. I'll I'll uh I'll kindly ask for three field spells. That's what I want. The fur hire stuff's looking kinda decent as well. Dino. We could play just fur hired this week. Can we just get super lucky and just get like a five ultra pack at some point? Can't complain too much because it's um an ultra from the same pack, so that's good. Uh we could play ten packs of of, of fabled. You know. Ultra rare time. Too good. Too fucking good. Too fu I, you couldn't pay me to play Plunder this week. I am not letting those scoundrels, those demons, take this deck away from me after unlocking it for one week. That's the loss is a good card. Ghostrick Lantern. Helmer. Second Golden Hair is so good. Uh, even the Fur Hire portion of the deck is starting to look kind of decent, actually. Another Ultra Rare. Are we going to sack a second Field Spell? It'll be really funny. Are they not allowed to ban if you never played it? No, they can. They just don't know. Oh my god, this was almost two ultras from the same pack. Alright, this is still probably kind of insane though. Alright, some good Farhari cards. The ultra outside the pack is a Siegfried. Let's make gauge shit. Second Blackbeard is good. That's still fine. Diminishing returns, the difference between one and two is not as much as zero and one, but two is fine. We're opening three strike success, but we're only opening four packs of it. We're gonna see what we get out of this, and we're gonna reserve one final pack after we open up our 10, just in case we get nothing good uh, to be able to open up from there, we're going to see maybe there's a secret pack that gets unlocked that can craft us a really good ultra rare. For example, we have the Harpies. That can get us Harpy Feather Duster if we choose to do that. All right, pack number one. What do we got? Whoa. Whoa, double Zuprex. I mean, as far as rares go, that's good. Look at all these rares. Wait, that's a full rare pack. Has that ever happened before? I feel like, how's that happened? What the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, that was number one. Let's go into number two. Whoa. Oh, another soup. We got a full place of the soup rex. That's crazy. Whoa. The giant ogre. All right, nothing to write home about. Here we go. Pack number four. Number four. All right, if we're going to get anything that changes what our game plan is, it's going to have to be in this pack. Let's see what we come out with. A Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. I'm not, I'm not too amped up about that one. Okay, so I think we've made the collective decision to yam the 10 into Goki. We got some really good rares, like Triple Suprex, Twist Cobra, and stuff like that. So the up end is we can actually have a playable deck out of this. It also keeps our one pack remaining. So if we open up any other secret pack that might give us a better craft, we can just open the one of that pack and then get the craft. So let's do it. Wow, that looks weak. Coming from the Goki pack, a bunch of yoked up guys. That's a weak looking opening. Yeesh. Rescue Ace Airlifter, huh? All right. <laughs> nothing in that one either. Yikes. Number three. Nothing in that one either. The hand of the six samurai. I need a hand because these openings are sucking. Whoa. What did I get? The Blade Ogre, a second one? I didn't even want the first. Dude, ow. Oh, here we go. We got a UR. Maybe it's something cool. No! Oh, Goki rematch! I mean, as far as they go, that's the best UR we could possibly get, right? That's sick. We just need the power load ogre, and then, like, we have something cooking, at least. Rescorpio's pretty nice. I don't know if I already had one of him yet, but if I didn't before, I do now. Mm. Hamburger recipe. Yep. Yeah. All right. Two more packs remaining. 
Can I get anything good? The fourth Suprex and a Waboku. Let's go. All right. Last pack. Can we end on a hollow? I'm expecting the Power Load Ogre, I believe. I believe. Oh, oh, I got baited. King T Rextal. Don't even know who that is. What's the UR, though? King T Rextal again. What? what? All right. Uh, yeah, I guess. That could have been worse. All right. We got one pack remaining. Didn't open up anything else crazy. So we are going to allocate that very last pack into glory on wings. The one pack. I don't even care what I get from it. I could get absolutely nothing and still be a very happy man. I'm still a very happy man. I promise. All right. Well, let's get building. I'm going to go with the furry agenda, baby. Only one ultra, apparently. But... Not super concerned. Just want to finish off the play sets of everything. There's a first booty. That's good. We really need that card. Reborn and attribute manipulation. And the second emblem. Flower Cardian. Synchro Zone. <laughs> uh, I think that's a play set of Black Eyes. That's so good. Yeah, no Jord is a bit annoying. But you can play it without Jord for sure. Uh, okay, another Fur Hire card there. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Fur Hire this week and try Plunder next. Galaxy, uh, Dragon. Oh my god, where's Kaiba? Party. Philo, Bluebeard, and Wiz. It's crazy that this has allowed me to almost basically get two full decks now. Firelick! <laughs> Recon from outside the pack. What the hell? I, I needed that. Uh, three Reborn as well. So good, by the way. I mean, it would be nice to get a Folgo, but clearly we're limited in our Ultra Pulls. So, yeah, just give me the rest of the playset of the Shipyards and I'll be happy. There's another Dompa. So, what am I left with? I guess I don't have any copies of Beat, which is a bit rough. Cell Glare is a good card, but we're not going to play it. Uh, these are kind of useless pulls, unfortunately. Blackstone of Legend, Lone Fire Blossom for plants. Too many Sagitas. Another White Beard, huge. I think that's a playset now. And finally, a super here. Beat! Huge! That's good. Beat your meat. As the chatter said. Not me, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Raider's Knight. Uh, I, that's definitely a Whitebeard playset complete. Second booty is really good. Two copies of Call of Haunted is insane. Continuous, by the way. And I'm very sure we finished Black Eyes now. Second shipyard, come on. Oh! Okay, alright, it's from the pack. We got an Araya, which is a generic 7. Helmer. Seal? I can't believe we didn't get any seals. This one summons from Grave, right? I got a monster in your grave, add it to your hand. Okay, recycles from the grave. This one is really good, and we only got one. Oh, we got two. Oh, this is three now? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, pfft, sick. Another reborn and ultra rare time. Here it is. Come on. Give me the second shipyard. Wow. So good, dude. So good. Every single ultra rare we pulled was perfection. That's uh that's powerful. That's powerful. All right, so we've been looking at these packs for a while. I mean, we're between Harpy and TG and Rocket and Solemns and Dark Lord. I mean, there's too many options here. And I think a lot of them have the same problem where you need to pull a lot of high rarity cards. And we also are heading into the balance episode where stuff is going to get banned. All right, we're going to try Harpies. I think the Agent pack is pretty cool because you can open the Solemns. But I think the Harpy pack is good because even though we can't craft URs, a lot of the cards in this set are very powerful. So let's see what we got. Harpy Feather Rest. Ooh, Heraldi. Let's open one Agent Pack. Let's just see what our options are. Maybe this will pull a Solemn. Even at low rarity, Solemn Scolding is very good in any deck that was like a high monster count. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's what I want my packs to look like today. Oh, this is so hard. Rockets now? Yeah, yeah. Let's just do Rockets. Let's see what these three packs look like. We'll just open one of each of them, and whichever looks best, we'll go for now, the thing about Rockets, I know they're good. They need so many SRs, and I've gotten baited by this pack about 60 times. Like, this is just what the packs look like. They're just garbage. Sniffer Dragon. You think I want more of this? I don't, even though they do add themselves, so I guess you do want three. Okay, we need to decide. We need to decide. Have you ever been so undecided that you just make a wheel? I have. Let's spin it. Let's see what the wheel says. It's what the wheel said.
We'll keep a couple extra packs at the end open. Um, those are all solemn judgments, by the way. Every single hollow is a solemn judgment. Gage does that a lot. You know, luckily people weren't too mad about the Pankratops incident where I opened one of those packs and then crafted it. But Gage always opens four packs and then 10 and then keeps the last one open just in case he gets like a better pack, which is funny. Agent of Mystery Earth in the first pack is crazy. I do want those trap cards. Psalm Scolding crazy. Libromancer Geek Boy geeking it out. I mean, this is Gage. Didn't he dress up as this? I think he 100% he did. I was there. I remember. We cannot see. Oh, oh shit. shit! The wheel's still up. Okay, we pulled Earth. We pulled Psalm Scolding. We pulled. <laughs> Luckily, we only missed two packs. Okay, we'll keep going. Medium of the Ice Barrier. Uh, this is the best card in Battle Pack Three, by the way. Altergeist, Arc Brave Dragon. <gasps> there we go. Instantly rewarded. Solemn warning. That's what we were looking for. We can craft another one if we want. Maybe that gives them too good of a banless target. Cut that out. Yeah, cut out the first two packs. <laughs> what is that? Okay. That's confusing. That's what it is. Pack six. Thunder Dragon. Um, yeah, I definitely don't regret going to this pack. I mean, there's no way they're going to ban a Solemn Warning. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, here we go. Judgment. Oh, Master Hyperion. Pretty good, too, though. Pretty good, too. If we do play Agents, which um, so far we have one Earth and one Master Hyperion. So, um, yeah. Check this out, though. Another Psalm Scolding. That's good. Oh, my gosh. Is that Uranus? Pack nine. Not regretting this at all, by the way. Nova Summoner. See, that was the Seeker Rare, so it must have been good. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Three hollows. Three hollows. These could be anything. Solemns. 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 Warning. Cards from the sky. And Solemn Strike were crazy. Never punished. Always rewarded. Look at that. Double warning strike. What did I say, chat? Two packs left. Let's run it. These are going to be more warnings. It's going to be judgment. I, we need judgment, strike, and warning so that they can't ban them all. Oh, Divine Punishment. That's basically Solemn Warning if you squint really hard. Final pack. Pack number 15. Oh, here's the Solemn Judgment. Here, What do I build? Don't worry about what I'm building. You keep to yourself. I'll keep to myself. Check out this Judgment. DG Wonder Magician. Let's go. Dude, we're so fucking good. We're so good. This is the way. Uh, see you guys in the duck build. YouTube, welcome back to the deck profile. You're very shocked and surprised to see that it's not Plunder Patrol, huh? Again, like I said, I'm extremely intelligent. I am hiding my strategy, my constructed plunder deck. I refuse to bring it and then get destroyed on the ban list after one use. So we're not playing plunder. They don't have any idea that I've pulled any plunder cards. They have no clue what I've got or what's available to me. I'm going to disguise it and go back and run back the uh, Super Heavy Samurai deck. Uh, for Hire as well, I could have played for Hire, but that's, again, just more unnecessary information. We can run that at some point as well in the future. I don't want to risk any of the new cards being hit. In some world, for Hire might be probably worse than this deck, and I'd rather they hit that instead of this, but they already know I've got Super Heavy Samurai, and this guy's going to die. And without the Link 1 this deck feels pretty bad. Other than that, there's really not much to say about this. We're playing Big Benkai Turbo. We've also got a good different array of synchros available to us. We've got the Stealth Ninja. We've got the eight. We've got the six. Genuinely feel like we just got clobbered by Gage's deck being so unbelievably more powerful than ours. I don't know what to tell you. Like, they're, like Shino Birds is insane against this deck. He made me start. I make a big field. I thought it was a really good, impressive field, but Shino Birds non-targeting bounce is pretty good. Let's uh, jump into today's episode and duel, and let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Everybody in chat, can I get some 07s for the Shino Bird deck? It will be flying off into the sunset with this episode. I am sure of it. There is no way that the boys let this deck stick around again. I will expect this to fully be not playable in the next episode, just like the Pearly deck was, right? I literally had no playable cards. And this deck has been putting on such a show that I expect it to be the same way. Hopefully we can etch out two more wins with it while we can. I think if we get two more wins this week, it puts us ahead of DZF. 
That's huge, right? The only other inclusion we've made, we cut the Galaxy Cyclone. Not that it's bad, but we have strictly an upgrade with Harpy's Feather Duster. I really ain't got much else to say other than that. Uh, this is the, like the last time you will be able to see this deck at full power. We'll go on to something else next episode. All right, we're running it back. Let's play Heratics with 15 really good trap cards. I could have crafted more copies of Venus and Shineball to play a bad agent deck, or I could have crafted three copies of Bountiful Artemis to make an even worse counter fairy deck, but I think that this is the one that gives us the best chance of winning today. If Gage goes 2-0 and I go 0-2, he will actually pass me in score, so I want to make sure I win a game, and I think that this is the one that gives us the best chance. As you can see, we are playing every single Solemn that we pulled, so we have one Judgment, one Strike, two Warning, and I'm even playing the Solemn Scolding. Might seem a little weird in a deck that has a ton of back row, but if you open two back row, you can use the first one and then Scolding for the second one, which is obviously still very powerful. Our craft today is going to be Titanocider, because I'm pretty sure that some of these Solemn cards are not going to make it through the next episode's ban list, so this is going to give us a way to actually have a long-term good interruption card. Without further ado, you though let's jump to the duels and see what they have Gage yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. god Great i'm profile. so sick of your fucking shido burst you haven't even pretended to mix things up this time gage no i haven't i uh, this is the last flight for the deck i'm just gonna you know this is what he does take it while i can he's locked the fuck in oh my god you got okay yeah this aura. is rich coming from mr i'll go eight weeks into the math mech striker pack by the way <laughs> yeah like <laughs> You're not even trying to hide it. Wow. Well, like, <laughs> well, that's why I was winner first season, and that's why I'm 2-13 now. No, no, you got this. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I will say, I watched Gage's polls in the latest episode that got posted, and he did something a little sly. I don't know if you caught that yet, Nadir, but he actually crafted um, Generator the, the, the Field Spell. Dire. Generator Boss. Yes, the Dire oh. Field Spell. I was like, what is the archetype called? So Gage actually has something in the, the waiting room here. And I know in the past people have been pissed about hitting things, but I'm just saying a preemptive limit on the Field Spell is not out of the question. <laughs> Understandable. Waiting in the wings, bro, as they would say. Yeah, waiting under the Shino Bird wings, literally. <laughs> All right. Here's we... my super heavy samurai Waraji. Does anyone know oh, man, he's back. what the Spanish word for like the the flip flops is? Isn't that normally like a thing people say? Spanish Wait word. Wait a second. You have a solemn card. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, oh, I just realized this isn't even gonna work. Okay, we'll see. <sighs> Damn it! He's got a freaking what's it called? I'm so upset about this. It could have been like pulling the rug. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's a uh... the rug. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> I think it's only normal. Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> okay, I will. There's other out... counter traps than solemn cards. What the hell is this? There are. What is that one? The drum. Oh wait, it's five six. <laughs> I see. I see where we're going here. So first, I bang the drum, and then I bang your back row. Uh, this is a children's channel, okay? <laughs> no, it's not. Marked for adults. Marked for adults. <laughs> is it there? What's the song, bro? There's a song that goes like, spank my ass like a drum. Smack my ass like a drum. What? <laughs> I think, yeah, have you guys heard that song? I'm I think sure we're listening to different song. music, man. I don't know. <laughs> we're listening to different songs, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm not going to run into a solemn, so let me just give you a scarecrow. Are you Are you scared? No, yeah, I can't. What do you think I have? I think you're overestimating what's in the back row. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll trust you then. I'll I'll, I'll discard another drum. I'll Come summon a drum. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> double. And drum, then I'm gonna go into mm -hmm. this guy here. All right. It's pretty good. I summon four shooting doji. Yep. Oh, I'm shooting dojis today. The ogre, bro. See, I don't even have a psalm. I do have Titano Cider. Oh, uh, is it permanently negated? Wait, is that a negate? Oh, that's it so is, upsetting. Yes. Permanently negated, <laughs> oh, no. attack to zero, and it won't banish itself when it comes back like Lost Wind. But it is a little bit slower than Lost Wind, so there is a trade off. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hit you with the. Hit you with the donut. I could get really punished here. That's really do this every turn if you have no spell. Yeah, I fuck it. Yes. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
DMing attacking into two back row is insane. <laughs> oh my shit! Oh my god, that's the best try. <laughs> that's oh god. <laughs> I special summon for the seventh time Heretic Dragon Tefnuit. And then, oh no! My. Oh my god, I've done that three He's fucking screwed. times. I've done that, that three I times. Can, I, How? I'm positive you did that earlier this season, dude. Like, <laughs> can you even get over this now? The gas is back! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. <clears throat> I've got a Game of Thrones here, baby. Who can uh, BM the least or most? That's so fucking bad, dude. Whatever, we're man. Just scheming oh, for no, gauges that was Actually, no. I can't believe how many times I've done that. I'm, I just get so excited. I'm just clicking. It says, do you want to summon it? Oh, yeah, I want to summon it. Do you want normal? It doesn't ask you. Politely. Maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, I wanted to hit something from this deck, but I don't think you're skilled enough for me to be worried about it. Dude, like, I'm like oh, six <laughs> and one with this deck. What are you talking about? So rude, dude. This is so what I rude. went on the streak with. Like... <clears throat> I'm gonna go and normal summon flutist. First, I play you the song of my people. You, tribute this card. Um, okay, this seems like a little crazy, but I'm just gonna assume you don't have extenders. Let's activate judgment. Dude, solemn. What? He actually did have a gadudgament. Oh yeah. Why does he point Not the gadudgament. When I activate it. Weird. I'm gonna link away my shooting doji. Oh shit! Right, you have two of these. Uh, that's not. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, you can't use that this turn, right? It's just Lost Winds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh. So oh. we're bringing back a Super Savvy Samsai. What's the best one to bring back here? You need to hit this deck. Just like ban Asset, so I can't do that anymore. Like. Anyways, normal summon. Oh, that's pretty nice, I, actually. Like. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go for this. Let's go pitch scales. Oh no. Um. <laughs> yeah. I love throwing your guys pitch. So, yeah, I deserve it. I, I think. Yeah. When you make a mistake, you should be punished for it. It makes sense. Yeah, it would be crazy if I got punished for my mistakes. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> is there a level 5 Synchro? Imagine. I guess I'm going to find there out. There is. Okay. It's a really nice one, actually. It's oh. Musashi. Which very simply states that I get to add back a card. Uh, so I'm going to add back the scales for follow-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does one of these destroy monsters? Target a face-up dragon... No, no, be... that's the other one. That looks like asset. That's Nepet. Nepet. What are you doing? All right. Let's, oh, 23. Yeah. Uh, attack this. <laughs> I actually was Clear like this thinking game. in my head, like, it only has 300 attack. <laughs> 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 Not quite. Attacking in defense? How? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Doug, if you have a Hieratic, don't screw it up this time. It would be so I cool if it. I did, wouldn't it? It'd be really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Go ahead. I don't think I... I think I'm still fine. I just have to, yeah, wait for another... Why did this card work, Chern? Oh, the Scarecrow say you don't take damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Why did my damage trigger not trigger when I didn't take damage? Weird. <laughs> um. All right, well, this one is... synergy. God, th these cards are essays, by the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's go special summon super heavy samurai thief. What does this one do? He steals the spell's traps. He's pretty good. Yeah, so I can pop your Titano Cider oh. and uh, take it, it for my target. Dude, I hate this shit. <laughs> Titano Cider's nuts, though. It's going to permanently negate my Musashi. You can tribute this card. Okay, sure. I'll activate the effects. Uh, Titano Slider is the corner one, right? Next yeah. to the deck. Oh, you don't gotta worry there. about it, though. Did you guys... Wait. It says destroy one card in your opponent's pendulum zone. Then you can place it in your own pendulum. Isn't that also just a spell trap zone? Like, why did they have to add that clause to the end of Samurai? Was this card released maybe... There's two versions. There's two effects, right? Well, so yeah, it says, but destroy one card in your opponent's pendulum zone. And then it's also destroy oh, one card in your opponent's The distinction is zone. because the other one sets the card. Yeah. Doug, very literate. Very literate. Love it. That's why you're Nocturne coming up, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I guarantee it. It's Muad'Dib himself. Uh, oh, yeah, you got this. Yep. That's fair. Scales. Can this really bring back? Oh, it. level four lower. Okay. Sure. Do you have another whatever this guy's called? I do not have a third one, no. 
Oh, but I guess you now have... Um, I I don't know if I have to... I think I can do this on attack declaration, but I, I don't want to lose because of that, so... Negate! Right. Oh, I forgot about Targeting that guy. Targeting protection. He's playing the Song of His People again! No! Wait, this thing still sets itself? It doesn't banish it so when it leaves it. This card's broken. Well, you can't. Um, unlike Lost Wind, you can't set it the turn that you activate it. So it's it's much slower. I mean, it's just infinitely recurring, though. Yeah, that's pretty nice, dude. I can't. Uh, I can't believe I made the asset mistake again. <laughs> uh, that's. I mean, that's fine. Let's go, go back. Um. Bab oh my god, the drum has a floating effect. That's really annoying. He does. I special summon. Who is that? Prep what? How do you just defense. have these? Who is, what is that guy? I don't, I've never seen this dude. Oh my god, <laughs> man. Um, what does this do? Anything else? It cannot be stripped by battle or card effects this turn. Sure, sure. I'm, I, am I winning a game? Okay, main am phase I winning a game? Two, I'm at 17. Um, I mean, I feel like that's... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You Gorgon don't have egg. Uh, game on board, I guess. I don't know. I do get to make this guy, though, I think, this turn. I don't know what this guy does, but we're going to make it. So let's see what it does. I special summon Waraji. Yep. Combine all of my monsters oh. into nine super heavy samurai beast QB. Oh, is this like the worst one? But it's gonna be like killing me right here. Uh, or wait, yeah, I mean, you should be dead. Oh, yeah, you're just dead, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not. Isn't this Ooh. 16? Oh, I'm a hundred. Oh, oh my god, I we're back here again, oh. baby. <laughs> no I mean, way. that was probably still the correct play, to be fair. Go ahead. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm back in it. I'm back in it. Uh, let's see what I can draw. Let's see what I can draw. Oh, that is... That is... Chat, like, good. what did you want me to do? Like, not clear the board? Like, okay, he gets a Tannocider back, but I have two defense guys that kill no, him next turn. Like That level like, 9 is so bad. That level 9 might be one of the worst cards I've read. <laughs> like, in a it's long pretty time. useless. It doesn't do much. It's funny that that's the... Uh, the is that the highest synchro? Or maybe they have a 10 now. Or they have a, they have I a think 10. they have a 10, yeah. What the they have a, fuck, they have dude? Why is this right? in your stupid ass deck? Um, Wonder Woman Monster. It's oh, it can negate. I can't it can negate. spells and okay, traps. It, negate. it called my card stupid, dude. I would never. Oh my god. Okay, well. I do at least want to find out if I can do this on attack declaration. I'm pretty sure I can. I think so, yeah. 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 There okay. we go. Okay. We win a game! A um, game! Yeah, you know, <laughs> the asset incident of episode 5, 8, and 2 or whatever is really crushing me at this <laughs> point. <laughs> the asset incident. I'm looking. This is my episode today. You already punted the one against Farfa. If I win this one, I take the lead of the series. Definitely want that. Oh, yeah, because I lost against... The oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I shouldn't have hit going first. That's fine. I, Not a big deal. I didn't unmute myself. Hey, listen, he didn't completely punt, okay? Because if I didn't punt and he didn't punt, then that's a different game, you know? Like, <laughs> you, game it, of it's just, here. um, it's just you punted last round in the, in that, with the samurai deck, so I had to give you a freebie. That was on purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I definitely should just walk What do you have? Fucking Max C? Yo, can we clarify something about the ban list? So we're not allowed to, like, pre ban things, right? Define pre ban. What do you I mean? mean, like, you are. Like, you don't, allowed, like, we don't know each other's pools this week. You, not, I mean, this week, not necessarily, but, like, you know, the last episode. Like, like I said, I mentioned, like, yeah, yeah. the generator thing, but no, I'm not against pre banning. Like, I know the comments might eat you alive. Oh, I thought, oh, you picked no, But pre banning first. based off of current card pool. I not did, yes. It was, the, I, I, that's what I acknowledged. I thought it was a mistake, too, but we're going to find I out. Mean, if I mean, technically, you can ban off today's card pool in that, like, if you see a card, I mean, if you see a card, pre-banning is cringe. I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, the commenters... My really by, by the way, this is the lowest I've had. But chat is 10% on me today. It's all gay. Doug or... Doug I'm is playing this exotic deck again. Dude, How I'm surprised I? you hit 
I'm surprised you hit double digits. How did ten oh. percent? Man, are you chats optimistic on your end? I, I was actually just gonna say that too. <laughs> so Sometimes you have your you chat vote on who it's goes two zero. Weeks. Or who's gonna uh, like win? No, it's just who's gonna win the week. Because uh, I put three my and then a draw. I mean, I forget it like eighty percent of the time, but I put my predictions at like my score two zero one one or 0-2. What are you okay. thinking about? Um, you're at you're resolving I'm, Manju like fuck. I've literally got dude you You are not in my world right now, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 let me think man. I want to add the the little peacock here the shade bear and his peacock Listen, Doug, you don't know what it's like to play a deck that has decision that trees, mr. Oh, Summon Gebeb <laughs> Dude, I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I had a decision. Oh, it was normal summon asset without tributing or with tributing and I made the wrong Decision. See, and you still fuck that up. Whereas Gage has a uh, very, uh, very plates. interesting deck. Yeah, yeah. It's only been six weeks or so, but you know, he'll get good at it eventually. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this little quill pen? A little oh, pencil. Little quill okay. pen. What does this one add? Speak nothing. That's just a literal from that. it's nothing. From that. Okay, cool. What was the point of that? Give me a minute, man. Can you? This guy is getting on my nerves right now, bro. Can you please let me play the fucking game? You know, after <laughs> losing a game, it's like I just gotta have the fire, right? I gotta roll with it. I gotta try to, you know, amp up. So, what do you guys yeah. think? Ban list in uh, twenty nine minutes? Yeah, Dude, let's 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 throw out some random words. I bet here it'll and be see next Monday at twelve fifty nine. Dude, it's crazy. They actually banned Beatrice. I can't believe it. Two days ago, they banned Beatrice. That was. Thank I God they banned that. Snake Eyes Oak. I'm glad to see that one gone. Yeah, okay. I I was expecting a limit just to reduce the consistency of Oak. But did you see that post that was like ban Oak, limit Oak, semi limit Oak? Yes, it was so it was fucking so good. funny. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> that'll fix it. All right, I don't know why you went first. <laughs> Look, I made a lot of mistakes this turn. All right, no, no, no. I already what do you mean mistakes I this turn? I think you're. Fine. I didn't get any warm up. In man, and now I'm yeah. waffling it. I'm okay, like this a is. I am trying to do this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Before I do that, we need to get Hearthstone Gauge into Saga. That's a different. <laughs> yeah, I'd go undefeated, man. I mean, I he's kind of been popping off now. Close. Okay, if I go that and then that, no, I, I do don't. Do you build a... your own decks in Hearthstone Gauge, or do you just net deck and play it really well? I just net deck it. Um, there's That's more fair. people talented than me figuring stuff out yeah. like that. Okay, this time. It's on purpose. I just want to double. Yeah. It's on purpose. It's on time. purpose. Normal summon. Oh, asset. God. He, okay. Okay. So oh, it's damn. Right okay. I'm impressed. It is really happening. Okay. And then we'll go. I just got sequence. Now, I don't mean to alarm you, but I feel like you have to kill him. Otherwise, you might be in for a bit of a clapback. Yeah. No, I definitely got to try. Okay. We'll tribute the Tefnuit for two? Sue. Two. Two. Tefnuit effect. Yes, yes. I told us. Summon. Ball. Did you guys see that Ronaldo started a YouTube channel? He has no videos. He just made the channel and he's already got a golden play button. I was about to say, how many <laughs> subscribers did he get instantly? <laughs> um, okay, okay. It's like when Snoop Dogg was streaming on Twitch, bro. Like, that. he can have like, millions of the viewers and he didn't. I'm pretty sure he didn't even have like his a microphone on or something okay. like that. <laughs> <laughs> like an entire like stream or something like that. <laughs> like, he just. Um... <laughs> I mean, I can like top deck that. Uh, this is looking a little, a little dicey. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll go this. This will make um, the tree guy. Oh, the Sylvan High Oh, we'll I'll say the effect. We'll call um, Slime Toad. No, that's not in the game. No. Oh, I'm <laughs> thinking of Frog the Gem. Yeah, oh, the yeah, stink? the wrong one. That would have been insane. Oh. All right, let's detach that and let's hit. Um... Stack my Manju for me, thanks, bud. Doesn't it shuffle it back? I think. I think it tops no, or bottoms. You get to pick. It what? Oh, yeah, you can. You, <laughs> you can <laughs> bottom gauge <laughs> if you want. Top I'll say he's a switch. Okay, let's put. I'll, um, say I'll just put the Manju back. <laughs> bottom. And well, then bottom I will. Then. Okay, then we'll activate this, tributing this. Oh damn! We're getting another so... Gorgon egg. These will activate. Yo, that's kind of filthy. Oh my god! It, it is Almost. a double rank eight. Is it? I don't know if that's gonna be good enough, but maybe. Imagine making two rank eights in a turn, and it still just loses to gauges. You shut the deck. fuck up! I haven't lost <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ellis, I'm not knocking you, dude. I'm just saying gauges deck is uh. He's pretty nice. What? What? He's gonna have six cards in hand. You don't know what I else I have. I got two cards in hand. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, hit this. Heliopolis. 
hit this. All right. Um, I think the Elven um, should or the Elsai should have <laughs> been a quick effect. I think that would have been fair. Okay, main phase two, summon Zeus. Um, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. See how many uh, how many uh points of damage you did this turn, Doug? Big fat donut. Big fat donut. Mm. I think he one day appeased right. me or something. Yep. Well, I mean, I can't believe done... walling up with incantations was this play. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking so silly. I really blundered he set this up, whole He thing set up here. for this turn. I think it makes sense. Oh, um, I'm hoping it didn't make sense. he doesn't have a play here. Transverser column, by the way. Fuck off. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll okay. tell you what. It's so Fresh easy off to forget. Presses, it's so easy. I've got a new card for you. Check this baddie out. I'm going to yeah. activate, man. Mm, right, this yeah, has caught a legacy ban in prior seasons for oh, good reason. God. I expect it to catch what another are you one. Doing? Right? No I'm going to activate Harpy's Feather Duster. Ah! I'll remove oh, one back, but... oh. oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm there. so fucked. That, that was all what I the had. Fuck is what the hell was that? Memory loss? That That's me, dude. <laughs> Oh, okay, no. effect of a tap this way for this act to negate and change it. Oh my god, that's insane. <sighs> that would have helped. That uh, would have helped. Bro, this, I'm looking so silly. Um. Well, good thing Gage has forgot how to do his combos. Yeah, I'm going to special summon. Are not in that zone. Do you know how silly that would look? If you somehow pulled a Geonator Transverser, bro, I'm aware now. I'm going to special summon. <laughs> He's aware. Mr. Pankratops oh, here. Shit. Good looking Why, your head was God. Duster Pain? Damn, that's ridiculous. This just, just gonna deals with both feed. of them. It doesn't, because what? That stops the, uh, he targets, yeah. so I can't, like, get over your... Yeah, but it baits it. Time. Oh, shit, you, like, it actually don't it. have plates. And then he has no responses. Yeah, but, like, dude, have you seen... You can't see the state of my hand. It's not looking good. Gage, you are not about to sit here and tell me Pankertops is not a good card. All right, chill. It is a good... Uh, well, not against I, I this. I did not say that, bro. Pankertops is the guy. But I got like nothing else going on. I'm looking like an absolute bozo, bro. I'm I guess all you had was to search for a ritual monster, so that's not like it. Well, wait, you searched a ritual monster <laughs> and you searched with Manju. What do you search with Manju? I dude, I blundered the whole thing. I told you I waffled this, bro. But I'm still gonna win, so it's all right. Like, why yeah, yeah, why yeah. can't he do this against me, man? You know what would have won this game, Fenrir? We don't know if he did did or not did not it. Do it against you. I was supposed to grab a spell off of the Manju, and that like fixed the whole thing. But here we are. So, um... what are you gonna do about it, Doug? Yeah, attack the Pankertops. Is that all you're gonna do? Oh no! Oh, what no. if the, the face down could be like an Aratama that gets a search? So I, I will hit the Pank. Do I bait this interaction? Oh, Don't spirits like... have to be flip summoned? Like Aratamas have to be flipped. No, flipped face up. rather than flipped. But if it was Aratama, he would have just normal summoned to go to search and then pass. No. You'd think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah, that is going through my head, but go ahead. All right, surely. Surely I get rewarded. Another oh, I did. You. Okay, thank God. Uh... Rewarded for... <laughs> what? <Ms. Flame? laughs> and Gage, actually, if you beat me in this one, you are not passing me necessarily. If Nadir beats you, you we will be tied. I, I really want this win, Doug, but I'm, I'm finding every possible way to make sure I don't get it. I'm... They always comment myself. on my on my plays, and they'll say like, "Only Doug can grasp the uh, a loss from the jaws of victory, or some shit like that." And it's like, um, you guys are doing a lot of math there. How can I still win? Uh, Here's can't. how you can still. Uh, win. You're just here for moral support at this point. Like, <laughs> no, you can still. You can absolutely still catch up. You just gotta, you know, start. to everyone every week for the next ten yeah, episodes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Check me out. I'm executing Plan B. I'm flipping Nikatama. Ooh. Oh, I should have attacked it. Okay, fair. And I'm normal summoning another Nikatama. <gasps> oh. Okay. And I'm taking the two Nikatamas. There's no <laughs> way. I think I'm making the Baguska, bro. Oh. I think that's what I'm doing. Wait, what? Transverser it. I can't. He I don't have another, another summon, bro. I'm not that lucky. Have another monster. body, really? No, I can't. The other one does something that I don't want it to do. Bro is an extra normal and doesn't have an extra body. <laughs> Fuck, did these cards suck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Man, that's gone eight oh. Oh wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I actually, hold on. This does work out how I wanted to. Okay, wait. I just have to do these first. All right. Beautiful. Okay, transverser. And then I will give you this very nice incantation. You can normal All summon these you. cards? Yes, yeah. yes. Dude, Gage mean, the type of guy to pick up Eddie and Tekken and then be like, this sucks after getting 2 would by uh, <laughs> literally anything. 
Let's this has been a disaster music. of a week for me. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> This is bad. It doesn't hit as hard anymore, does it? Well, we expected the transversor. We called well... it earlier. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's just what I needed right now. Um... Oh, my God. He, I assume he can use the targeting protection oh, as shit. well. Oh, shit. Wait, I forgot. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about Nunu, my boy. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm good. I'm totally fine. I'm great. Oh, wait. He's cooking? Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm scared now. Cooking? Mom, cooking? Why are you so confident? What is Tribute this? Tribute something Nepthet. Oh my god, the he's egg underneath is, is... the heratic! <laughs> Do you... <laughs> no! Do you... Do you only play one Gorgon egg? I thought you No, I'm talking about the snake guy is underneath the heratic, so I can't trip oh, the... Oh, all right. <laughs> Whatever, I mean, this is still the right play, like, but... Uh, no, oh like no! Yeah, okay. This has been a week. This has totally been my fault. It's okay. It's fine. I'll take the, disaster. I'll take the L. I mean, I Carbon still am gonna win this one, alarm. but I'll take the L. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, somehow I ended been... up breaking this up enough to be able to do. Oh this. shit! <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe you only have Shino Baroness, and this will stop you. Wait, what? Why don't you just keep it? What? Because if you have Shino what? Baroness. You need a back row to target or to shuffle back to get the effect. I don't even know what you're yapping about, bro. But what? yeah, okay, so pop off. Huh? King. Yeah, I, you could have saved that for maybe like the field spell. No, or something like are that? you? No, if you summon Shino Baroness right here, you could have shuffled back the Olenoids to summon a guy right. from the deck. I I lose if you do that, so I have to play to my outs. Yeah, I'm oh, not I see what you're saying. Extra, whatever, man. Like, yes, I saw him search the four. If I this thought is this was Shino an MST negate moment. Oh, okay. Well, it's the Baron which fuck. bounces the monsters. Yeah. The Baron which bounces the monster, which kills the player that gets <laughs> the field spell that makes the link one. Let's go. Then this can you summon can. the fucking ritual? <laughs> it can do a lot of things, <laughs> Oh, man. my God. Ignoring the summoning the conditions. Almost, almost just punted that one. That's okay. We take it. I he took him that. out with yeah, his I own monster. That is that. just uncalled for. Yeah, can we get some... Preemptive O sevens for the Shino birds. They 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 served us well in duty. <laughs> They'll be gone. All right, Nadir, you got this. I believe. <laughs> Pressing first it? was a mistake, but I'll make it well here. We'll go. Arakama. I was gonna say, why the hell are you going first? It works so I, well I keep, last time. It's just so it's so appealing to click it, right? Yeah, it Fair. gets him set up. I mean, I don't know if I'd go first against super heavy samurai necessarily. <laughs> But, uh, I wouldn't. I shouldn't have. There's no reason I should have. But uh, but it feels good. Like, dude, how do you beat? How do you beat Sleepy Man Pass? How do? What if I just make the Baguska? This guy. Shit, Saki lost, Tama. Dude. Baguska Saki cannot Tama. survive the ban list. That that absolutely cannot make it. There's no way. Yep. Super Plan can B, attack baby. In defense. Well, Baguska actually stops the activated effects. So if you can get to a super heavy samurai in defense, yes, you can attack. But. If he can get to a super heavy in defense, he deserves it. Go ahead, man. Your turn. Two back row? Back row was wrong. The, okay, the, the terrifying thing about two back row, I'll tell you right here, is that every time you've sent the Shino Bird deck list, there are only three back row cards, and they are all insane. Yeah, so, but pretty good. Not feeling great about that. Maybe they're bluffs. Do you guys use headphones like over the the head headphones? I don't. Do I don't earbuds? know. I feel like I should. I'm pretty sure these uh, earbuds are ruining my ears, but it's fine. <sighs> Actually, comment section. If anyone in the comment section has high quality earbud recommendations, let me know. Like basically, I'm just weighing up whether it's worth trying to play into like oh we're passing a line that yeah like just passing or. It's probably not just, I think we just play into it. Um, Why would you want to use earbuds? I don't want the dent on my head. How long do you think you have to like do things to actually get that dent on your head though? I've been like, I wear headphones like almost 24 seven and I, I don't have a dent. I don't know. Like, I think some of those streamers, like what? You gotta stream six years, 12 hours a day and then you get the dent. Uh, let's play the game. I'm gonna go with Waraji. You always mm -hmm. open this guy. He's your best friend. I, I, I don't want this to be like the second monitor thing where people are like, how do you not have this? But I will say, I think I should buy like speakers for my computer so that when I'm at home, like alone, I can just like, I don't have to use the headphones. Do you guys have speakers on oh. your computer? 
I own a pair of speakers and I never use them. Okay. I never use them. Okay. Somebody that does though is Dan. Dan uses his speakers a lot. Well, I just, he's got I, the setup. He's got the setup. Okay, this is pretty well, good. It's the same speakers that I have. I just I don't know. I just don't use them. Getting a search, huh? That's pretty good. Oh, because the yeah <clears throat> the scarecrow still works, right? Because it, it does. Through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It just has to be sent. Yeah. Doug, how many monitors do you use? Two. I, I the sec and I'll tell you like I um have no fucking clue how I wasn't living like this before. <laughs> I can't stand people that use the oversized monitors. How do you guys feel about those? Like the the really big ones. Oh, I I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. They're too much for me. I need to have the separation. But to say, I don't know how you I were working with one man monitor for so long. That's I'm, crazy. I'm sure work. it works, but like the part I don't understand in that is when you click like full screen on like Chrome or whatever. Does it? like full screen like a rectangle like a small rectangle or does it full screen and do like all three screens <laughs> i'm i'm sure you can like rearrange them whatever but i too i want the separation what what is this show ever but that's one thing that surprised me about getting the second monitor was that i thought i would want them right next this oh, card's so fucking stupid i hate okay. it okay <laughs> that's the best i mean nice plus there but recall okay Dark Bribe for um, Monster Effects is definitely better than Dark Bribe. So I'm just I'm just thinking about how I'm just trying to weigh up whether or not I I play basically from here and just wait another turn so I can use the Scareclaw again next turn or potentially get OTK. Am yeah, I smart enough to OTK? I don't know, yes. man. That last game was kind of a spectacle. <laughs> yeah, you've done some pretty. I'm crazy looking a little rough there. <laughs> like, what is my plays if I don't? If I try and play just now. While they are powerful, I think that <clears throat> the incantation cards alongside the Shino Birds, like combined, if you open a lot of them, they're good. But I think individually, they can be, they can be mismatched because like the incantations, like they need specific things to reveal, and you need combinations of cards. So I think if you don't open a lot of searcher, oh, okay. I have a very good setup. For next turn, literally, I can guarantee, I can guarantee oh. some stuff. So good, bro. Oh my god, you think there's gonna be a next turn? That is so adorable. I'm gonna. God, I believe. I believe. Oh. Okay, okay. How do I just win the game outright with this now? Um, eight thousand through a T cent. Come on. I mean, this always gets active. Let me just put this on the field. The stars align above the shrine. Not exactly sure why you would activate this right here, but I'm sure you're cooking. Let's shift the Baguska to attack position. Not want to make any silly mistakes like that. What the fuck kind of back row do you have, actually? I just realized you're playing super heavy. What did you just set against me? What What, what is that card? Spookus Could be anything. Back row. Um, let's see here. Anything to some... rise to the occasion. Silver I'm going to normal. normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's artifacts. Aratana? Oh, my God. Um... Maybe like double Aratama. Not cool. Not cool, man. I think this wins. Hold on, let me let me do some math in my head. This, pick up this. Summon this, this. Don't forget to play through Nibiru. Okay, all right, I think I figured it out. Uh, I'm going to add from deck to hand. I'm going to pick up uh, a Mono Awato. And then I'm going to use the stars align above that shrine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those stars do be aligning, huh? They're, they're lining up. You I it, will. Dude. You, got you can it, target dude. his <laughs> monsters with this? <laughs> yep. Oh. You got it, dude. No problem. That's a 3,600 R Tom. Oh, it goes to... Yeah, 36. Nice. Defense. Gage. Caked up, bro. Defense. Caked up. Caked up. <laughs> <laughs> Tribute one? I mean, this isn't that bad. I'll go shade. Why didn't you target the Baguska? Shut up, you dumbass! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Read the card! <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> but why didn't you? You, do... <laughs> you doing okay there, bud? <laughs> <laughs> target Baguska! By the way, target Baguska! <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? We're adding a spirit and a ritual spell. Okay. Ash, please have Ash. Baron Peacock. Damned calling. level four monsters. Like, I went into this in a saga where there weren't the new cards, and it was okay, but, like, the field spell, level four mon- I mean, this just makes it unreal. 
Okay. Ring, ring. Given the the birds a call here. You got game gauge? No, uh, it's I gonna be a mono and everything, and so it'll be fifty one. Nineteen should be seven thousand, I think. I mean, I don't know how you beat a mono auto, honestly. So, well, go nuts. What you don't think super heavy samurais can beat a mono auto? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's pretty good. All right, bounce that idiot back to hand. I will special the rock. Hmm. Can't attack. That really fucking blows, honestly. Come on, pretty, pretty why game setup, bug? Though. That was okay, that was pretty clever. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Uh I think I'm totally fine though, dude, honestly. I'll just go to the end phase. I'll resolve a couple of abilities here. Uh so that stupid rock stays on the field. Sure does. It does, yes. My monster deck. Let's say, is there a better counter <laughs> to Super Heavy Samurais? Sure, add a speed. Dude, I'm so ready for this shit to get banned. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this I has to be worse tunnel. than Labyrinth. It's so much more powerful. Like, yeah, I can do the next the thing again next turn. Oh boy. You got this. You got this. Here we go. I believe. Just any monster effect anywhere, right? Yes. Yep. Well, you can use Spirit Monster. What the hell? Correct. Oh, sure. This guy comes back. Cool. Yeah, sure. Because he's a spirit, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not usually. That's just is. so unreasonable. <laughs> and it bounces back. And it triggers. The I mean. Wait. How do these on. cards not win a YCS? I don't know. This doesn't activate. <gasps> uh oh. Inherent. Famous last word. Or, sorry. Cook? Don't kill me, judges. Uh, Someone that doesn't start a chain. The thing is, like, I can beat, like, the Amano, and then I lose next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's how it like, works. That, that, that's like kind of the issue here. Um, I'll play you the song of my people by special summoning. Let's see. Okay. Okay, sure. Yeah, you got him in. Fuck, I misplayed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fine to me. It, 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 it just it does not matter. Oh my god. So, is the only time this deck lost that one time when the deer played Sword Soul? I'm pretty sure, right? It's like yeah. one. Because I got him with a Chengying set Cyclone to like yeah. hit the field spell and then Ice Dragon the. Uh, Guys in Grave. The what's it called? Yeah. So, this deck is 5 1, I'm pretty sure. Or the gauge plays four episodes. It's going to be 7 1. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Actually, let cook. Far uh, let's go battle. Let's well, he deserves them, so. Uh, I guess just book a moon it, yeah? Great. Sick. Swell. Very na very nice. <sighs> this fucking I can't deck. even use the target negate on Flutus. Damn. Gage, I hope you get bad pulls the next five weeks. I'm going to be real with you. I hope. Would you wish that on me, man? That's very mean of you. I Here hope I you have a, a like. I hope before every time we sit down to duel for the next five weeks, you get a really sore stomach. Like <laughs> yeah, really I think that already ouchy, happened. I mean, <laughs> ouchy tummy. Like he's every hoping my, my tummy time. grumbly before I sit down, <laughs> as if that would stop me from playing, bro. You act like stomach problems and me shitting don't go hand in hand. I'm already an expert on it. <laughs> Guy whose name is Gage I'm like, shit I'm like, wants Gage to dude, shit. I'm, yeah. I'm upset tummy's like super soldier, Jeez, man. I am <laughs> All right, uh, let's play. Um, oh, activate. God. Let's play. I mean, I think you can just, you just gotta sequence So for it. anyone curious, by the way, I, I still had plays, but I mean, you know, I needed the Book of Moon to not be there to, yes. Yeah, so. it's like you had plays, but then like, he can do this stuff. G Gage had one response and my deck <laughs> fell apart. Yeah, somebody said I'm a master of the brown arts. I'm the skilled brown magician. That's. that's oh, me. I got it. I got it. Nadir, <laughs> just start playing yes. the brown note. <laughs> <laughs> is that a, is that, that's a myth, right? That's not actually a thing. I, I've never done it. I'm too scared. Oh, okay. Here's, here's imagine what I there think, was right? like. Here's what I think. I think the people imagine... listening to it have to poop already. So. Right. Like, I, I think it's like um, hypnotists. 
where like you have to be you have to want to be influenced by it you have to want to poop to be pooped um, well like some people are saying it's real but can you imagine if there was like you know some sort of like terror attack but well, instead of like count? violence I'm sorry. It was, you know, um, Wait, you're a giant letting him speaker. Live? I, I just straight up didn't count. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's the homie turn. Nah, he needs it. He needs it. It's the homie yeah. turn. I got so distracted by our poop conversation. I thought I could weigh in properly. Um, that's a punt. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> you're not winning anyways, right? I Probably. mean, I, I don't know how, but you never know. You now don't have a back row anymore. What am I doing about a mono, dude? Holy crap, this isn't true Draco format. Oh, this is so frustrating. What else is triggered? Oh, the field spell. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is rough. This is, uh... I'm just toying with his emotions. I mean, you're doing point. better than I did, so... Actually, I don't know if that's true. The mono is, like, really unfair. Would it be really funny to, like, go to a locals and um, play the brown note thing? And then see how many people just yeah, yeah yeah just people just start shitting in the middle of like round three. I was about to say it would actually <laughs> be like a Hunger Games situation because there's only one bathroom at locals normally. <laughs> the so. bathroom's like the cornucopia, like everyone just sprints towards it. Yeah, and it's like the it's like straight out duty war in the middle is, of the uh, <laughs> like uh, uh, coach is telling her like. Don't go to the bathroom. Just go outside and shit. It's it's fast. It would smell the same. <laughs> it's faster to Dude, go to the five right, guys next Let's door go. and shit in their bathroom. I outed the Amano. Do Let's go. Have, Amano outed. Maybe I don't know. I'll just click some buttons for a bit. See if it does anything. Yeah. You. I mean, you have an opportunity to do monster effects. Might as well do monster effects. You've survived exactly. the Baguska. You've survived the Amano Wado. Might as well, you know, enjoy it. All right, scales. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's popping off. Yeah, I guess <laughs> we are popping and locking for sure. I mean, is there a world <laughs> where you can like get to a pop for the field spell? Maybe, maybe that would do enough. He's used a lot of resources. I mean, yeah, I can make the shooting doji pop the field spell, but like, is that good? That <laughs> I mean, that might just stop his play. I don't know. Although the dude's acting like I don't have six cards in hand. <laughs> ah, I bet it's six ritual okay, monsters. Okay, Gage. <laughs> Play to your outs. Yeah, you know? it's 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 nothing. Shut up. Make block bros. Reading! Sorry. Aren't you locked? Yeah, exactly. Alright. Shooting dojis. There he is. Yep. Uh don't, don't let me down now. I got no, this feather is dusted it. for one. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie me. Look, he's so cocky. Man. It's like, he's probably going to fumble his way into like a misplay again. Just watch. <laughs> Give you another turn. Yeah, see? Oh, rip there goes Muska. your Muska. See you later. Bro died of alcohol yeah, poisoning. On. I never on, get Gage. to use this. I don't think, I think for as long as I've had this card, I haven't gotten to be able to use it. So I'm going to summon Diviner of the Herald. <laughs> what wow, the hell? Okay. Man? You have Herald of Arc and Light to send and, and Herald of Arc Light. <laughs> I'm a target. I hate this guy. <laughs> Give All right, Gage, well. you've done it. You've broken the format again. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll make it quick here. Shino Bird's calling in my skit. Does that target? No, it does not. Uh, it, it doesn't target. Nothing Damn, else. I lost another week. <laughs> you got to win, though. You got to win. <laughs> I did get a win. No! Ha, you recycled my... <laughs> you can do it again! Uh oh infinite value! You should attack with the oh, token no. that you forgot to attack with last... Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! You fool! I, I think. Wait, hold on. I swear to God. You, you have a hand effect? Now, I'm, going to, I'm going to destroy you if you have something. Wait, why does this... Is this card... Oh, you have Giga Gloves engraved, and right? Add to, and if you do, the time loss becomes zero. Yeah. Okay, but then I get hit by the two... What's it called? Wait, so I think I have to cancel this? And then use this! Let's fucking go! Got his Spear Revenge. Oh, shit! Golden Sword Soul! <laughs> yeah, I like it. 
We got this, baby. You having baby. a good? Fuck you, man. Why? <laughs> Why can't you just be a good Why boy? Don't you just what die? are you doing, bro? Why? Why? Oh, are you oh, you had to do that level? because if the Giga gloves missed, you were just oh, dead. Oh my okay, god, yes, yes. bro. Why? Yeah, so, There's no way. I can't I think, believe I think, this. If I think, if I think, I think if I use the glove, it means I can't activate the golden sword. So it I does. Could be wrong, yeah, though. yeah. So it's like if you miss, it's fucking over. Okay, I mean that makes sense. It's bigger than the two tokens anyway. Uh, there's like nothing I can draw though. Not true. Gage might just have ritual. I like he's you know he's oh. talking, but he's used a field spell. He's <laughs> used two ritual spells. He's used. Yeah, go on, Gage. Come both on. Both Aratamas. I'm just gonna make that. I'm gonna just make that card, bro. It's fun. Uh, what's Gore's gonna do, chat? Hello. Look at my life points. You would have died. <laughs> Gore's no, in really game four, I guess. I don't know. We still I can't in this. I'm just hold it on by a thread. <laughs> Whatever. You're not gonna kill me. I'll just go end phase and put this back. You're not gonna kill me. Man about to be killed. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're at 76 and you got four <laughs> attack blockers. It seems kind of unlikely, but who knows? Maybe he'll summon Ultimate Conductor Tyrano. No! Fuck! What the hell? That was the worst card in the deck. No! <laughs> oh no! Don't say no, that. we didn't draw the out! How? How? <laughs> we still don't know if Gage has a ritual spell. It's still possible that he doesn't. You never know. Yeah, Golden Sword Soul is going to hold down the fort here. Go ahead. It's not over until it's over, All right, right? let's go, baby. Do you have multiple of this All card, right. by the way, or just one of the Golden Sword Soul? I think one. Okay. Not a ritual spell. Doesn't boost the monsters on board. <laughs> ah, oh, shit. come on. Ritual. That's a ritual spell. Fuck. That's, yeah, this is definitely over now. Okay. Uh, good try. Those really good try. Good try. I respect the effort. Really a good for try. hustle, you know. Uh, we know what Gage's deck lo looks like. I want to see if Nadir has anything new, if you got anything going on. I don't think I changed anything. You got two of the camel guy. Was that in there? Is that what that is? Which one's the camel? I don't know. What's next to the beef jerky? <laughs> you are just saying words, my guy. You need to like tell me some What's hard next names. To the, to the left of the, flare the resonator, left of the, the the kelp, uh, whatever that is. Left of rare resonator is soul claw. No, right of sorry, right of that. Oh, fist. No, I always played two. Oh, I thought that was um camel guy. I will. You know, I feel bad about showing you guys this because I feel like it's gonna give you some extra bands. But I will pull my deck up. I did go into the solemn pack. I do have Whoa! one oh judgment, God. two warning, two scolding, and one strike. Just so we're all Jesus aware. Christ. That's insane. Oh my God, Doug. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll reconvene. See you guys next week. Doug, you were just like popping off on Twitter. Like, can you explain? Like, what's going on? Hmm? How do you come know. up with this shit? I don't know. You know, sometimes I'm just sitting there, you know, thinking of ideas. I, I think I might do, if I ever do like a, I, I don't think I can physically do a 24 hour stream, but if I ever do like a 12 hour stream or an eight hour stream, like a real person that works a real job, I, uh, <laughs> I think it'd be a fun donation incentive to release drafted tweets. I got about 25 of them that are like a little too. You have drafted tweets?